Very warm welcome to you all, wherever you are. We're going to look at the uh, at the four hands that you played this evening. They are all uh, declare a play problems, and uh, some are trickier than others. But uh, the first of those is on your screen at the moment, and we'll give you the auction. Uh, sort of uh, so after a pass from north, one diamond from east. Why not pass from south? One spade from west. Pass. Four spades from east. There we go. And we get the lead of the Queen of Hearts. There we go. And he automatically the lead. Now, one. Let's count what we've got. We've got six paid tricks, almost certainly no heart tricks. People do not need the queen from ace queen anything these days, do they? Most pity. Um, we've got two club tricks and uh, six, seven, eight. That means we need at least two diamond tricks. Okay, so we can take a diamond finesse. That's one possibility. Oh, don't we... know. Yeah, it's called the autumn bouquet. Uh, somebody's not muted. Before delivery. Sent you a video. Yeah, I ordered them. I always knew you were in love with yourself. It's because you I'm so awesome. You? So awesome, more like. <laughs> Say it with flowers this autumn from flowers.ie. At Paris City, you can recycle your old electrical. There we go. Right, Sandy's managed it. Well done. Somebody had their TV on or whatever. Okay, where were we? Okay. We're almost certainly going to lose two heart tricks. And if we lose two diamond tricks, we're going off. But those of you that have seen these sort of problems before will no doubt recognize that ace, queen, nine combination that very often signals a possibly successful end play. So what we're going to think we're going to do, we want to, if we can, eliminate hearts and clubs and draw the trumps and then play a diamond and simply cover whatever north plays and south will not be able to exit in a heart or a club that will give us a rough and discard and he'll he will he can play a diamond back into the ace queen if north hasn't played the 10 if north plays the 10 we'll put the queen on but now he'll have to be into the ace nine so that's our plan and uh, if we cover, let's see what happens if we cover that first heart. North wins, or south wins rather, and plays a heart back to his partner. Now his partner switches to a diamond and whatever M play we had in store is no longer going to work because South can win and he can exit with a club and just simply back and wait for his... <laughs> Doesn't matter which diamond he plays, South is going to win it. He won't play a diamond back. He can play a trump back. He can play a club back. The one suit he can't play back is a heart because that would give him a rough and discard. So we'll undo that because that points out to us why it would be wrong to overtake the first heart because south will win put north in and he'll get a heart switch so we're not going to cover the first one now we'll look at it twice more we'll see what happens now if north carries on with another heart now south cannot play a heart now but he can uh, he can play a heart or he can play he can play a spade or he can play a club let's say he plays a club We're going to draw the trumps take any chances Well, the hearts have already been eliminated, so now we'll eliminate the clubs. Oh, 
and here is the stage set for what really should be a fairly routine end place position now we don't finesse the queen if we do south can exit with a diamond and we're still got a diamond loser but here south wins the jack but either a club or a heart will allow declarer to throw a diamond from hand and he'll win with the uh he'll win with dummy with the spade and now he doesn't have a diamond loser and if south instead elects to play a diamond back then declarer just makes his two diamonds and the rest of his trump so we're going to make that claim we'll put it back to the table one more time because some of you will have noticed well what happens if we after we duck the foot we're just going to bid four spades by west so let's uh go around and save a bit of time same lead north doesn't cover it uh, east doesn't cover it rather what do we do if north switches to a diamond now does that ruin our end play well not really if declarer plays low then it would because south will win with the jack and he'll exit with uh, or he can cash the ace of hearts and then exit with a club or a spade and declare will subsequently have to lose another diamond but if he goes up with the ace of diamonds and now draws the trumps again And you see what is going to happen. Now we're going to eliminate the club as we did before. Drop the club. Yeah. And now we give South his ace of hearts, which we know he's got. Now the defense have made two tricks and South can make his king of diamonds uh, if he wishes, or he can give Declare a rough and discard and Declare will give him a diamond later. So uh, in fact, the end play as such is still there. It's just that instead of giving him the lead with a diamond, you're giving him the lead with a heart. But full marks to North for switching to a diamond, for possibly seeing the uh, the end play coming. So we're still going to make our 10 tricks. South can cash a diamond, but that'll be her last trick. Glynis played different end play than with the last club. Mm. was that after the first heart uh, was uh, ducked or not but you still have to lose a diamond as well as the club in that case Glenn, um, Sanya the defence took two heart trick yeah but if you give the, the, if you give the defence the third club trick to north he'll simply play a diamond and you've still got to lose a diamond so now you'll have lost two hearts and a club and a diamond you must yes it's essential to dock the queen of hearts if you don't dock the queen of hearts then the king will fall to the ace uh, south will play one back and then a, an alert north will switch to diamonds and now we've no longer got the end play we will have to lose two diamonds now so you do need to duck it the best north can do is switch to diamonds if he carries on with hearts then we we find the end play just the same but if north switches to diamonds then we go up with the ace and eventually end play south with the king of hearts 
to his ace, and uh, at that point he can either cash his king of diamonds or give us a rough and discard or give us back a diamond, you know. Yeah, I have no other uh, answer than, other than that. Do we have any other uh, any other comments or questions? We love your questions. Put them to the table um, and I'll do my very best to answer them. No, no questions, no comments. Then we will move on to board two. We can find board two. Here it comes. And this auction went one no trump, three no trump, starting with east. So uh, it's fairly routine. See if we will just get east to bid three no trumps. There we go. And we're told the lead is the five of spades. So the longest and strongest, as they say. Now, what have we got? Well, clearly these diamonds, we hope, are going to cont uh, going to contribute tricks, but we've got to be able to get to them afterwards. And um, this the spade lead has given us uh, two spade tricks, but we always had two spade tricks. We could play the ace on another and we'd still make two spade tricks. Um, the question is, do we want to make our two spade tricks now, or would it be better for us to to sort of put off the second space trick in the interest of possibly having another entry to dummy. And the heart situation is quite interesting as well, because uh, we've got two heart tricks, but um, it may not be quite so obvious that we've got a definite entry to dummy. If we lead the queen and put the king on, that would either be an entry or the 10 will be an entry um, subsequently. How do we play the diamonds? That's really the critical point, because if the diamonds behave, we're going to make five diamond tricks. Ace, king of clubs is seven and uh, a spade and a heart. We're not going to uh, we're not going to suffer. Um, what can the defense do? How should we play the diamonds? Well, we can only pick up the diamonds if they're four nil, if we know about it in time. So what are we going to do? Well, really we should lead towards the queen jack and if south shows out then we'll know that we need to finesse the eight next time and if north shows out then uh, we shall compare diamond back to the king and if he takes that or not we shall finesse the nine next time irrelevant here they're not breaking four nil but that's how we should do them so the question is what are we going to do with these spades i think probably the best line is to win this first spade in hand because we're going to have what are we going to do if the uh, if the spade in dummy wins because we really want to play the diamonds from hand just in case they're four nil right so we're going to save those two spades we've only ever got two spade two spade trick so now we're going to play a diamond And North may decide to duck it, as indeed it's happened at one table. He knows what the situation is. He's trying to make sure that Declarer can't get to dummy easily. So, I don't want to throw a club, not suiting him. That could be dangerous. And then we'll play a third heart. Now, what should North play? The worst thing from the defence from the declarer's point of view is that he will play a club. But does declarer need those club tricks? Because he's struggling with entries now. But he needs to get to dummy. And if he leads the Queen of Hearts, North will duck it. And if he leads the Jack of Hearts, North will duck that again. And then North will exit with a club after the third heart and East will never get to dummy. But he can guarantee getting to dummy 
what tricks has he got? He's got four. He's got three diamond tricks is seven. Two heart tricks will bring his total to nine. So he doesn't need and can't afford to catch that king of clubs first. So we're going to lead the queen of hearts. And we're going to put the king on. Now what is north to do? If he ducks it, declare has got his three diamond tricks. And then we'll exit with a heart. And he'll make his um, second heart trick. And North has either got to set up dummy spades or he can uh, uh, give declare the entry with a club. So, but if he takes it and switches to another club, try to set up his club. Oops, don't want to do that. Don't do that. Yeah. Now we can throw a spade away from dummy now. And now we'll play the Jack of Arts. Followed by another heart. We've already made seven tricks and we're going to make three diamond tricks. So we're going to claim up one. We'll give them a spade at the end. I know one declarer played it quite well, but then did not overtake the heart and North correctly docked it and then down went declarer. Okay, so it's a matter of A, working out what's the best way to play the diamonds. Here it didn't really matter. They were 3-1, you were never in any danger. But in case they were 4-0, we wanted to lead them from hand first. We lead them from dummy first, and then we find out that North has got ace 10 to 4. We'll play the king and then it's too late. North will have two stops. By playing them from the east hand first. Then we uh, we make sure that whoever's got four can still only make one trick with it. Okay. The other thing is play the hearts in the way that we described. And the spades... We didn't need those spade tricks as it happened, but we did need the entry to dummy as quickly as possible to play the diamonds correctly. OK, that's how we play board two. I'm not sure how many people made it or how many people went off, uh, but that's that's the best line as far as I'm aware. Do we have any questions or comments on board two, please? No. I hope you all followed that. And we will move on to board three. And I know that nobody more would contract. It is a little on the tricky side, but quite capable of, uh, of being analysed if you sort of give it just a little bit of thought. Um, South opens a spade and finishes in six spades without any opposition bidding. Now, we get the lead for diamond, six of diamonds. I'm not sure why the six, but it uh, uh, depends whether you count the ten as, as an honour or not, I suspect. If you don't count the ten as an honour, it's the second from the bad suit. Uh, if you do count the ten, from the ten as an honour, and many people do, then they would lead the two. All right, but it uh, doesn't really matter which one is led. It's the six of diamonds. What is declarer to do? Well, we've got six spade tricks, and we've got uh, four club tricks is 10, and two more red aces. That's 12. The problem is, of course, is that we may not be able to get to those club tricks having drawn the trumps. The trumps are not going to break two and a half uh, uh, two and a half, two and a half. So one of them is going to have three trumps at least. And we may not be able to catch the fourth club. And if we take the ace of diamonds, that's our entry gone to the clubs because we can only draw two trumps finishing dummy. Now I know at least two tables took the ace of diamonds and thought, well, they'll hope that the person that's got the length in trumps has also got the length in clubs. So they cash two clubs.
Now they cash two trumps, ending in dummy. Now they need two discards now. And there's the first one. And we'll throw the diamond away, bait. Now, if this one doesn't get roughed, if the person with the last club has also got the last trump, we should be home and dry. We will simply throw the heart, one of the hearts away, cross the dummy with uh, to hand with the heart, draw the last trump and give them a heart at the end. But of course, he scotches that plan, he roughs that jack of clubs, and now declare us simply cannot avoid two heart losers. And down this contract goes. So we'll save it like that. And then we'll put it back to the table, having thought again, so to speak. So it's not going to do any better. Now, if we take the diamond finesse, let's, let's give Miss South his uh, six pay contract again. Because the chance of the same person having the length in trumped and the length in clubs is not great. Let's say we decide that uh, unlikely though it may be, people don't tend to lead away from kings against slams unless they've uh, got some more information. But if we take the diamond finesse, now East needs to recognise that his partner needs to have the ten. But he can play a diamond back. And declare is in the same position as he was before, that he can't draw all the trumps before trying to cash the clubs. And uh, because East is going to is the one with three clubs and also the one with three spades, he will run into the same problem before. The opposition have already won a diamond. And we cannot get rid of the two heart losers in time. We try to get rid of one of them, but then East will rough the fourth club and we'll still be one off. So we're going to claim that as one off as well. And then we'll try it one more different way. Let's have a look. Again, by sound. Here's the diamond lead again. And in this time, we don't put the ace on and we don't put the queen on. We put the eight on. And uh, east wins with the jack. But what's he to do? If he plays a diamond back, now that gives us an extra diamond trick on which we can throw one heart. And as long as the clubs stand up for three rounds now, we should be home and dry. And let's just see what happens if he does that. Cash and extra diamonds now. Doesn't matter, we can draw two rounds of trumps first. Now we're going to cash two rounds of clubs. Here's the difference. We only need three club tricks now. Because we've only got one discard to find. And we don't need the jack of clubs now. We've got nothing useful to throw on it. And we will simply come to hand and draw the last trump. And now we will make our 12 tricks. So one other possibility, we'll do it once more. Um, 
is that he doesn't play a spade back. He plays something else back. And that says the diamond again. Don't play the queen. He wins. Let's say he plays a trunk, for example. Well, really easy now. All, all the trumps. Now we'll cash our ace king of clubs. And of course the ace of diamonds is still there as an entry now for those last two clubs. In fact, the finesse, we don't need it. Again. So the secret was not to play the ace or the queen on this first uh, on this first trick. We put the eight on. We let East win as cheaply as he might. But now, if he plays a diamond back, he gives us an extra diamond trick. We only need one discard on the clubs now. And if he doesn't play a diamond back, then the diamond remains as an entry to the uh, to the two extra club tricks that we've got in Dunny. Okay. Do we have any questions or comments on board three? Thank you. Very quiet lot tonight. We will go on, go on to the last board of the evening. I don't think anybody made that one. No, the entry position is a little tricky, but uh, if you think about it, then you can come up with the right answer. Right, this is board four. There's no opposition bidding, but we'll give you the bidding such as it was. Uh, three passes. Trump doesn't have the values to bid two clubs, so he can only all he can do. And the staff has got a good enough hand to say, well, I think you can probably make three no trumps. And the lead is the Queen of Hearts. Now that lead queen suggests that he's got the jack okay so if we let this run round to hand then we can probably almost certainly make three heart tricks what else what else have we got three heart tricks two diamond tricks is five and um, two club tricks we can probably set up maybe that's going to be seven and one spade is eight hmm not quite enough and in fact, if we let this heart come round to us, then we have no entry to set up the clubs and get to them. We have to rely on the diamonds. And for the diamonds to be 3-3, three, three, that's only a 35.5% chance to develop the diamonds for the number of tricks that we win. It's much better odds for us to try and establish the clubs. But for us to do that then we need to keep the Ace of Hearts as an entry and uh, and lose our possible uh, finesse position in, in Hearts. And what are the chances of that working? Well, let's have a look. If we go for the club suit, we have a 58% chance, 58.1 in fact, uh, Sir Alan ensures me. Um, and we're going to what? What we're going to do? We're going to win the first heart in dummy, and then cash the ace of clubs and play a second club. Now, some of you 
let's let's do that first. Ace of clubs. If the ten or the king appears on that trick, it's very easy. But of course, it doesn't. And the question is now: when we lead the eight, now. Should we finesse the nine or should we play the queen under or the jack? It's close, but in fact, the odds favour playing the queen or the jack. That's 53.3% chance of success. If we finesse for the uh, finesse the eight, the nine, run the eight or put the nine on, then that drops down to 48.3%. So I am reliably informed by Alan, who uh, who has prepared these ends. And you can see what's going to happen. If we finesse the nine, it loses to the ten. And now we can't do it anymore because we can't set the suit up. He won't play another heart. He'll switch to spades, almost certainly. So we're going to play the jack. And the ten appears. Now we don't have a problem anymore. We can drive out that... Uh, that king of clubs, what's going to, well, he can throw a heart away, maybe. Um, we can throw diamond away. He's going to switch to space because he's got the queen 10 sitting behind the ace jack. But now we've taken four tricks. We've got the ace king of diamonds is six. The ace of hearts is seven, and we have two long clubs, and that will bring our total to nine. Let's just claim nine tricks. If we were to let the first thing, the first heart come round to our hand, so that we could subsequently finesse the ten, which a lot of you may well do, now your only chance of success is the diamonds and they need to break 3-3. Three, three. Chances are against it, and they don't. But then you've got no other second string. You'll make three heart tricks. One club trick is four, two diamonds is six, ace of spades is seven. And I'm just not going to make enough tricks. The opposition will switch to spades at the earliest opportunity, and uh, you won't make... Uh, you can make your, your ten of hearts, you can make three heart tricks. Two diamonds is five, ace of clubs is six, ace of spades is seven, but you won't make any more. Right. Do we have any other questions or comments on uh, on board four? What a quiet bunch you are tonight. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to close down the, uh, the the Zoom. You're very welcome, Sanya. Close down. I'll close down the BBO voice. Close down the Zoom. Close down the table. And uh, uh, I wish you all a very good night. Thank you for joining me. Uh, weren't as many of you, but we had a clock change. We know in the UK so that meant a different. Uh, time for for you and the rest of the world and the usa in particular so i'm not surprised that uh, not as many people as we would normally expect have managed to stay for the uh, for the discussion but you're all very welcome uh, tomorrow yes we will be here tomorrow at uh, uh, alan will be here no doubt around about quarter to eight that's uk time so uh, you need to uh, check your check your calendars and find out what the time is locally to you if you're not in the UK, because all our clocks changed on Saturday night. Um, I will be there round about uh, nine o'clock, um, and uh, I will carry on between nine and ten or thereabouts. Okay, so if you can join us tomorrow night, the hands are not fixed in any way; they're just randomly dealt. And uh, you can, if you bring a regular partner, then you can play together, um, play a couple of hands. Alan or myself will discuss both the bidding and the play, any points of interest we think uh, are worth mentioning. And uh, that's what we do on a Tuesday night.